Banks that one towards the line, not out. Randall in on Stager, pad saved by the Cambridge native. Morin again. Boy, he looks so much more comfortable, Mike, tonight. I thought he took a period last week to get acclimated. He is here and means business tonight, and this time he's right down there in the crease looking for a loose puck. Well, here we go. This is one that started early on as Bezo and Randall. We saw this happen in the first period. What happened to the rule where once a helmet comes off, you're supposed to jump in there? Is that one not in this league anymore? That's a very good question because Randall's bucket was off early in this tilt. He's trying to get Bezos off too. There's their chance, I think. Nice little tussle in front of the net there. A little bit different than the Shane Prince versus Garrett Wilson we saw earlier. Shane Prince comes in at 5'9", 162 <laughs> against Wilson, 6'2", 205. This one a little more even. Bezos, 6'1", 198. Tyler Randall, 6'1", 195. Prince was punching a little above his weight class. <laughs> Oh, we're seeing a bunch of guys going to the box here, and I'm not sure where this all happened. And I'm wondering if... Boy, is he ever skating tonight. He can skate, there's no question about that. Kind of reminds you of number nine for Belleville, or the old number six for Belleville, and the Bulls are gonna be penalized again, and for the third time tonight, Taylor is going to the box, and Tyler Randall drops the mitts, and the two number 11s who sparred a couple of times tonight are in a full out brawl here at center and Randall gets the right hand free. Taylor bulldogging, trying to work his way underneath against the taller and lankier Randall. We've got a lot of blood on the ice right now. Randall's cut his forehead open. One of the punches landed by Randall at the end of the fight. Cut Taylor open in a big way and Randall still out on the ice and talking to people out there. They're gonna send him to the dressing room. A big fight for the former Belleville Bull, and we actually caught up with him before the game. And we talked to him about his longtime teammate Andy Bathgate and what it was like playing against him for the first time. We've been together forever until halfway through last year. So when we played them last year, it was a little different. See him on the other side and uh, got to play against him in the rookie tournament, uh, the Toronto tournament in, in uh, Kitchener. So that was that was a little taste of what today's gonna be like, so uh, it should be good. 